Welcome back to my morning report chart appraisals with me, Rich Paymark Analyst at Handset Markets on Tuesday 5th of September. We're going to look at Dolly Yen now. And Dolly Yen started to track a bit lower. Um, but the important thing, I think, from the near-term perspective is the fact that this pivot line around 109.80 is coming back in again, uh, provided the resistance yesterday, there or thereabouts, just a few handful of ticks. But again today, 109.83, uh, the high before turning lower. So it certainly seems as though that, that is a level that the market is looking out for near-term. Trading underneath it, I suppose you'd say that there is still uh, a negative bias and sort of increases the potential for this high at 10.66 to be a key high, key lower high, another one. But um, once more, it seems as though we're sort of coming back towards this 109 figure area. Now between 108 and 109, I say 108 to 10, 108 to 109 is where the lows, all the lows or the key lows of this year have come in. Um, now this is clearly a key level, certainly on a closing basis, 108.97 was the low uh, or a multi-month low certainly um, before the support started to build again. So it's not a million miles away from that, just 40 ticks, 40 odd ticks away from there. So it's um, it's close to a key level again, key, um, key support area. Now what we have got is the momentum indicator which is just still negatively configured aren't they on the, uh, on the daily chart, failing around 50 on the RSI MACD lines topping out again, stochastics beginning to cross lower. It sort of suggests that the, in terms of momentum the pressure is still to the downside but that support is going to be keenly watched I think. 108 to 109 um, area seems to be a lot of kilos coming around that sort of um, region so um, not a million miles off that now. Now trade, as I said trading underneath that 109.80 level is uh, negative for the near-term outlook, but um, it'll be interesting to see how the how the market reacts this afternoon to the U.S. traders coming back in. Here you can see that pivot in even greater detail. Um, negatively configured on the uh, on the hourly momentum, RSI failing under 60 on the hourly, MACD lines failing under neutral. Um, so yeah, if the, if the market turns higher and then again fails around that 109.80 level, then that would be once more a negative and uh, really start to uh, put pressure onto the downside. But um, it would be interesting to see how the US trade has come in today. So there is clearly still a negative bias to dollar-yen. But uh, I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later. Thank you.